Oh, dang, here's a here's a whole George Washington piece of paper. All it needs a feather with some ink on it. I can write a whole goddamn new commandment. Look at that. But let me get some uh, birch bark stuff for you and get out of here before something closes me in the back of the head. Bloop! Uh, I'm not just trying to blow this out of proportion, but if this video ever gets recovered and say I pass away or something, um, I want this video to be published. Uh, just the last days of, of, uh, of me. And I might just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you think I'm exaggerating, but you never know what's gonna happen in life. And this might be the time. I got some ideas. Yeah, I always say I have a lot of ideas. I never said any was good. Good morning, everyone. I slept okay. Um, warm. I was warm. The sleeping bag is really, really comfortable. Uh, just the the cot, the cot thing is not too, not the best to sleep on, but it worked. Uh, not sure what the temperature is right now. Um, let me check. It is 29 degrees, so, oh, but I'm going to use the restroom, uh, use some food together probably, um, and wait till it's warm up to get my computer out so I can try to download some footage, hopefully it, uh, hopefully it uh, should warm up to about I want to say 60 today, but I'll check that later. I didn't watch a movie. Um, just went to bed. Uh, this fireplace thing. I wish, I wish I could figure it out. Maybe I'll try it one more time and find some extra time. But today I plan on maybe just doing some some scouting around, um, looking at the different sites and taking you along to to, to, to see the, the property. Uh, and, uh, I think there's a creek down the way, uh, there's a, there's a four other sites, so we'll just, excuse me, we'll do that, so, let me get, uh, get my stuff together, uh, change my clothes, and, uh, get to going. Okay, folks, um, the sun, I think at 6.33 a.m. rises. Um, it'll be over the horizon here in a second. It is about 6.20. Uh, I got some stuff out for later. I'm going to make me some eggs. I got some eggs in there, uh, bacon, and an onion. I'm not doing too much fancy today. I'm just going to do that. Maybe tomorrow sauces, gravy, and biscuits. Uh, but I have... This coffee here that Jeff Swartz got me, um, that is uh, packets filtered already, so I don't have the granules in my mouth. Uh, but I'm gonna put it in here. Uh, stuff still has frost all over it. You can see that bag is supposed to be black. 
Um, the seat has frost on it, so I'm waiting for the sun to actually uh, come out and get everything off of this stuff. Uh, I am, I'm gonna go scavenge for some wood. I don't wanna use the big wood right there um, if I can help it. So I'm gonna get some wood and maybe just use a couple of those. Uh, but I'm gonna cook in this rocket stove here and for the first time to see how that works, heat the water up on there for coffee and then do the bacon and eggs uh, with onion. Other than that, it's still cold out here. Uh, it actually, I looked at it wrong, it said 29, but it feels like 25. So that means it's 25, folks. It's not 29 at all. If it feels like it, that's what it is, okay? If it feels hot, it's hot. If it feels cold, it's cold. It's hot, hell, it's cold, but it feels like it's hot. That means it's hot, folks, okay? So shut up with all the, well, technically, it's because of the wind. I'm an Eagle Scout and I start fires and I know the weather. You know what, folks? I know what I feel. So she said, let's go get some wood. Stop arguing. Got my Ronald McDonald gloves on. Mean business. The low wages. I gotta come back and get my phone. I didn't have coffee yet, guys, and I'm doing this B-roll, okay? You're welcome. Hit that like button. Please hit the like button. And while I'm walking, I'm going to scroll all the people that helped me out on this trip that donated. So I wanna thank you guys very early in the morning before I even have my coffee. I'm thinking about you, okay? So thank you very much, each and every one of you, for making this sleeping in the cold weather with being old possible. That was nothing guys, just getting my, my blood flowing. A little nature foreplay. Road's a little uh, tore up from uh, yesterday uh, because after the sun starts getting up, this gets a little mucky. So that's why I'm gonna leave out Friday. Uh, today is only Monday. So Friday I'm gonna leave out uh, probably before I want to say before 9 a.m. So this road's pretty much uh, still hard from the cold, cold nights. Uh, I do, I do think 
I think today, I was looking at the weather, I think it's supposed to, well, yesterday I was looking at it for today, but I think today it's supposed to be 41 at 1 a.m., 1 p.m., like after lunch, 41 degrees, and then at 1 a.m. tomorrow morning, it's going to be 48, so it's going to be warmer in the night, so yeah, uh, I am coming up here because Jay sent me a message saying he left some extra trash bags for me if I need them, which I, I don't. I'll leave those here. But he said he left me some wood, firewood. So I really appreciate him doing that. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab the firewood if it's free. And uh, it'll be less for me having to go get uh, all kind of sticks and twigs. I still need sticks and twigs to get the fire started. If you're an Eagle Scout, you know. If you know, you know. And that's another stupid thing on Facebook when they put IYK, YK. If you know, you know. That's another thing that perturbed me. And another thing on Facebook that perturbs me when somebody says, Hey, what is the best place to eat around here? One, two, three, go. Like, I have to hurry up and tell you where the fuck to eat at. No. Lazy. Just Google it. Okay, let me get this wood. I'm going to start my day off like that. This is day starting off great with free freaking wood. Yeah. Guys, there's, that's what she says all throughout this video and in life in general, okay? And if you start saying it because of me, you're welcome. Um, but, again, no coffee yet. I don't even know, need to go to the, the Jimmy on the spot. Oop, that's not uh, right there. Not there. There. Um... I don't even need to go there until I probably head all the way back and take one sip of coffee and then whoop. Yeah, that's that's about the <laughs> that's about the only illustration PG that I can I can show you what happens. So one sip of coffee in the morning. Whoop. If you didn't know what that is, it's a turd. Turd going in the toilet, okay? God, do I just spell everything out for you? I'm spitting here. Go post it's not a GoPro. I got to turn off my tongue because I got my Ron McDonald gloves on. I had to take my other jacket off uh, because I have this jacket on. And look at this double lining, folks. I almost forgot to tell you guys. The whole month of March, if you go to my website at dagarbagedisposalstore.com, dagarbagedisposalstore.com or outdoorsunsupervisedstore.com, go to merch any any hoodie or jacket in stock 25 percent off all of march just you have to you have to do it you have to take initiative and put in the promo code at checkout march 25 off all capitalized letters all capitalized numbers i'm just trying to get rid of inventory so i have to uh have hoodies and jackets taking up 75% of my loft area in the media barn. So you're welcome. Um, after this, I won't have jackets or hoodies uh, for another two years. And then I'm going to take a pre-order in like June of 2026 or 2027. I don't know, but that's the next time that I'll have hoodies and jackets when I do pre-order. So right now I'm just getting ready to inventory. Uh, so 25% off hoodies and jackets. Um, I will be going the creek later. Um, I'll probably come up here first. You know what? I might go to the grapevine that direction first, but then I'll come around here. We'll walk this path. Uh, Jay was, uh, nice enough to send me, send me a, a real detailed message about trying to find the creek and, and such around here. So I do, I do appreciate Jay. Really good guy. Left me, left some free firewood. Um, and uh, really responsive when you're trying to message them on the, the uh, Hip Camp um, app. So I do thank you. I really appreciate it. And maybe um, I will be in this area another time because he is a very good camp host. So uh, with that said, guys, let me get back and get this coffee. Okay.
Eagle Scouts, close your eyes. I was about to chop up some more sticks, but this is all I have in there. That's what she said. And look at the flames. Yeah, the flames are already coming out of here. So we'll see how this uh, heats up. Uh, but I'm going to almost uh, say I'm going to recommend this item. Uh, this is the only thing I don't like down here. These legs that you put in. Uh, there's two uh, bolts that go all the way across. It's just open on each side. It's just a piece of metal. It's not really a bolt. So that's the only thing I don't like about this, that if you don't move it, it's probably not going to be a problem. But they're just kind of sitting there. But it does break down all, and it has its own carrying bag. Uh, but if I do recommend this, by the time this video comes out, um, you will see it on my Amazon recommended items. If I recommend it. See if I'm in the picture. I'm the most important person here. And I'm the only person here. Let's see if my head's in the shot. Who freaking cares, people? Who cares? You know what I look like. I know you want to see more of me, but that's just how it goes sometimes. I'm out here in the wilderness I don't want to yeah I don't want to do that out here so I'm gonna pause the day on that maybe tomorrow okay. I like to save these and I like to put them in the fire because I'm weird I like to smell Yep, spank my meat. Try to get the sunlight on here so you can see my beautiful meat. And guys, I do have to tell you, <clears throat> I still recommend this. It's nice, portable. It's nice and portable. Um, I did find out. You have to keep shoving your sticks in there in the very end so the fire comes up. So you gotta kinda patrol the area so the fire keeps coming up. But it is uh, it is getting hot. Uh, it just takes a little bit more time because you gotta sit here and, and uh, you gotta sit here and keep po poking, poking the sticks in. So at the very end there's a fire that comes up to here 
they do have an air an air vent in the back if you want to warm some uh food up right there on the ground i think that would be probably good too a little nature microwave Okay, folks, I started this fire here because I didn't get this fat for nothing. I'm not going to sit around and wait for that rocket stove. Um, I will say that rocket stove, if you want to heat up coffee a little faster than a solar thing that takes about two or three hours, it's a little faster than that. Uh, it might take you about 30 to 45 minutes if you keep, uh, keep at it and shoving pounding sticks in there, uh, then you'll get, you'll get your result. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and just cook on this, uh, the bacon, the, the onions and eggs. Uh, I'll just probably do it all together. I'll cook the bacon first, uh, then throw the onions in there so the onions can, um, cook down and then the grease from everything, uh, from the bacon will, uh, cook the eggs in theory. Um, uh, I'll salt and pepper it to taste and, uh, put a little garlic in there maybe. Gotta put garlic in everything. So. Let's uh let's get this started. I'll need one pan. I'm not trying to cook on different pans and clean a lot of dishes because I'm lazy. I got time for this. I'm fat and furious.
Okay, food's done, folks. I got the coffee. I got the uh, food off the fire. I put a cast iron pot upside down so I can put this on, plate it up so I can eat out of that and save on washing dishes. Got my coffee. Um, another pro tip, where, where is it at? Because there's quite a few things of grease on this. Here we go. There's quite a bit of grease uh, coming down from, uh, it's, it's love, I mean, it's love. But I wanna get some of that grease up. There we go, see that? We'll live a couple days longer. There we go. I'll put this in the fire, and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, um, as you saw, I put the bacon in. And it's not crispy bacon, so don't yell at me. Uh, let me make sure this camera's on because I've been having problems with it. It is good. If you do something, well, I would say something, do, you do something stupid, get it on tape, but this ain't stupid. This is bacon. I uh, put the onions in there to caramelize. I, um, what else did I do? I put the seasoning in there. Um, I, ha I didn't put salt because the bacon is, is going to be salty, so that's the salt element. I put pepper in there. Uh, put the cumin. You got to have cumin on your meat. If you got meat, you want a cumin on it. Um, and garlic. So I did that. I did use some marble cheese. I've never had marble cheese before. And the eggs. I put the eggs in there and scramble that in there as well so that married all together got my coffee finally um, like i said I, i'm not going to recommend that unless you just don't care about taking a little while you got to keep shoving your sticks in there so it, it, it will do it if you have to sit there and watch it and keep doing it it will work out for you but i think today uh, I'm going live for the Garbage Gang slash Wigwam on Facebook. They're subscribed, so I try to go live at least once or twice a day when I do these uh, things like this. I try to go live twice. So I have to drive 8 to 10 miles to get a signal. So for them, that's what I do, folks. So if, I, if there's any way possible for me to get a signal, uh, then I will uh, make sure I go live. Got a couple pieces of bread here to make a sandwich. Uh, Today I will do some hiking. Uh, this is gonna be a hiking day where I just, uh, not your traditional hike, it's kinda like uh, scouting, just scouting. Um, so I'm gonna do some scouting. Uh, I, might, I might throw the drone up if I have time, um, but I am gonna cook, even if I'm not hungry later. Uh, and that's probably stupid to say, cause I'll probably eat anyway. But um, I'm gonna do it in the daytime, so it's, it's uh, more visible for you guys more delightful and you can see everything. And then I will uh, eat later on the rest of it if I get hungry, but I wanna cook in the daytime. So let's try this out. Oh, you don't need lip gloss out here. No, no chapstick at all with this grease. I did get a lot of grease up, um, so it's not that, that bad at all, but it tastes delicious. I mean, it was over a fire. It has to taste delicious. Mm. The cheese is pretty good. Can't really taste exactly the taste of the cheese with everything married together, but this is a casserole. This is a breakfast casserole, folks. If, I, if it was a little bit warmer, I take my clothes off and eat this. Mm. I was so hungry last night. I ate what I ate. That fettuccine was good, but uh, this uh, this tops it. Oh my goodness! Starts the day off good. Mm. Mm, okay. Well, this is my coffee. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, um, I didn't watch a movie last night. I didn't watch anything last night. I do have movies downloaded, so I can watch them if I wanted to, but I was so tired. Like I said, I need to punch my clown. Cut my hands to myself. No, no, I, not even that. I didn't even, I didn't even keep my hands to myself. Take it how you want it. No. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna head on out to talk to them. Get back here and put a little backpack on and fill it full of stuff I might need to survive in these wilderness and get video for you. Maybe a little bit more coming. Too much time on my hands. Hey, time to get out and explore the uh, premises. I have pretty much everything put away into that tent that I don't want getting wet. Uh, <clears throat> I got stuff, uh, I think that's waterproof, that solar panel, we'll find out. But I have that hooked up to that uh, power bank that's under that tarp. Uh, I did put some uh, new pants on, you're welcome, uh, with some fuzzy. They're fuzzy on the inside, some fuzzy pants. But I brought my uh, new cameras. Uh, well, I, I brought the camera with the new lens, uh, so I'm going to get some footage of some close-up stuff. Just test the camera out and see how you like it. You let me know if it's okay or if I need to get my money back, which is over 30 days, so I can't get my money back anyway. But let me know if it's worth it or not. That's what she said. Okay, let's let's head off. I got some water bottles. I got I empty these out to put water in, so I can use that for uh, washing up later uh, if I get water out the creek, and use my wash tubs that's over there, the two white tubs, uh, to fill up with water to to wash dishes. Okay, uh, I do have uh, something that I need to talk about now before I forget, uh, but I did find I, I forget I didn't forget, but this is a a, a hammock tent where you can actually uh put a hammock up to a tree on either side and you can zip it up still uh, it has three different zippers on it one zipper is down here to zip it all the way down this is the hammock zipper so wherever the tree's at you can do that so what i'm going to do tonight to see if this works so i'll have to mess with that freaking pipe again in there uh what i'm going to do is put some kind of stick right here to keep this open and let the smoke come out the this end on this top and the other top on the other end and see if that uh, helps out a little bit i know it's going to get a lot of the heat out as well but as long as it stays a little warm it's going to be like 47 or something tonight i'm not even going to need that actually but this is a good time to test it if it doesn't work then i definitely tomorrow need to get that pipe fixed because i think it's going to drop down to like 17 degrees the next night so we'll see how it goes when i get back i need to put some kind of awning up over everything uh maybe maybe move the picnic table to somewhere where there's some trees and put a put a tarp up above all that so i can have a tarp uh because i think rain and sleet snow weather is coming in i don't think it's the snow that we're looking for it's probably just cold rain and sleet yippee okay let's go let's go explore the wilderness i got this because i'm not going to need it so i'm just going to put it back in the suv while i'm when i'm going that direction that's all it's about he was wondering go post stop recording
Okay, first stop. The bathroom. And then the creek. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna go to the creek second. Uh, I'm gonna to go to Hayen. I know y'all gonna say Han. There's no U, folks. There's no U. It's Hayen Hollow. So let's uh, let's just uh, skip on over here. Uh, Jay did say that he will be back next week to uh, do a little bit more sprucing up on the other places. But usually when somebody uh, <clears throat> makes a reservation, he comes out and cleans it up before they come to make sure, well, to make sure it's cleaned up and make sure the trash is emptied and everything else. So this is a quick one to get to. Um, you can drive all the way up here and unload all your stuff. They got a fire ring, uh, pretty much the stuff that's on the other side. You get a picnic table, it's a wooden one. Um, you get a, a grill. Uh, you get trash can, recycle bin, and plenty of wood on this one. There's wood everywhere to chop up. So I do need to get a lot of wood. I know I can just come here with the DeWalt battery powered chainsaw and start lumberjacking all these trees. Okay. Still some snow in that pit and some wood. I'm going to keep it there. I don't need it. Okay. Let's go to the creek. We're going to pass by a birch bark tree or whatever the hell you call them things but when you're in the uh, survival uh, in the thick of it uh, you go you go by them that, that does have some on it but you go by them and you just take fill them off like so and put this in your pocket you can have some kindling for your fire to get it started. There you go. It doesn't hurt the tree a bit. It's going to grow it right back. I think. That's what they said. I don't know. Whoops. Well, I'm, let's just say it does. That's what they said, okay? That's the only reason why I'm doing it, because they said so. I, I saw it on YouTube. It's on the internet. I know it is true. And then you, you just it in like so if it is a little damp you put it in your pocket your body heat is supposed to dry it off you're welcome okay let's go to the creek we'll post stop recording like we're coming up upon the site i'm gonna say roughly 150 foot from um, where the sign was so not a big haul especially with this wagon that they they accommodate you with But this is the creek site, I believe, and then you can walk to the creek. So you can camp right here, I believe. And there's trails going off that way, this way, this way. Got a little bench made out of a tree. You can't crick it, birdhouse. water holes right there going all the way down to the creek and I'm not going to cross the creek but it wires off here and I think it goes uh, downhill that way 
like a little crossing here that somebody had made like the labyrinth movie if you ever watch the labyrinth uh, that means you're old here We get some footage here with the other camera. Uh, I'm gonna collect some water. We get some footage with the other camera, and you let me know if it's decent or if it's shit. Okay. Go post stop recording. Okay, uh, that was both 4K. Uh, people think 4K and 4K is the same, uh, but when Corbucci Eats, Ricardo Corbucci and uh, Notorious B. O. B. Myself went to uh, Stacks and Yolks, I saw his footage, and then I saw my 4K on my phone footage. I saw the clear difference. As soon as I saw that, I bought that camera, and that's why I did it. And hopefully, it shows in here that 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 camera is more in depth in the detail, uh, but. I don't know what to say. Just uh, just showing you the differences of stuff um, on the videos, not just outdoors, but the, the cameras, the mics, and such like that, so you can get more of a, a feel of what I do and what I use for doing videos. Uh, mostly I use my phone and my GoPro when I'm out because it's a lot less hassle to carry that big camera around and do such. But uh, sometimes uh, I might do a, maybe a hike and sit for one or two days and not do all food cooking and stuff like that but get out and get some nature uh, and that's what i really want to do get nature like butterflies and caterpillars uh humping or not humping i don't i don't care uh, and uh flowers and such so i really like taking pictures of flowers and and, and insects and bugs and such so that's going to be coming in the spring and the summer so if you like that mess you're going to love uh the extra footage so Okay, let me get this water and get out of here and go to the next site. Uh, I think we'll be passing up the site that I'm at. So I'll drop all the water off there in the wagon. That's the only reason why I brought the wagon to get the water. So let's get that and get to going. like a butthole or a, a JJ okay I'm out of the uh, the pathway here but well, going in I, I did notice the pathway going that way uh, people uh, I think brown people say that's why white people white people get killed uh, in movies because they have to wonder what the hell is over there and I have to know. But if you didn't know, I think brown people in movies get killed first. That's what people say. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out and see what's down here. At least I have video of it if, if, this, if this works, if this GoPro uh, keeps, keeps recording. things like purple okay let's go right under this tree oh there's a lot of birch white birch over here got some uh squirrels nests in the trees one all the way up there and another down here lower i guess it's scared of heights that's the lowest i've ever saw a squirrel's nest there's another one there i 
this opens up to a little field. But uh, Jay did say this all was a cornfield. All this was a cornfield. You wouldn't even know right now. But if you order any merchandise, hats, hoodies, jackets, shirts for the Outdoors Channel, you might get some white birch, barch. I'm gonna bark, birch, whatever. You'll fuck up dumb up. I'm gonna grab some of that and I might uh, put it in a Ziploc bag and if you order something from the site of the Outdoors Channel, I'll get you some of that. Just something, folks. Just something to think, you know, of you guys and uh, give back. And I handwrite notes and such. And if I didn't say today, 25% off all of March. I've used the promo code March 25 off. All capitalized letters, all capitalized numbers. Um, you have to do it once you're about to check out the promo code. You have to do it yourself. Not me. You do that. Uh, it's for all jackets and hoodies in stock every single one of them okay got that out the way all right well it's pretty much all there's walls walls of rocks and that's how they did the boundary i guess because there's a little metal fence kind of skirting the top of that but let me get some uh birch bark stuff for you and get out of here before something closes me in the back of the head Boop! Dang, here's a, here's a whole George Washington piece of paper. All I need is a feather with some ink on it. I can write a whole goddamn new commandment. Look at that. And don't worry, you probably won't get this because it'll probably end up uh, uh, disintegrating in the envelope. But these look like the piano things. You know, the little things, the ballerina things, the uh, jewelry box that makes the, the sound go. That's what that looks like to me. Okay, go post stop recording. Go post stop recording. Hey, only um, only one more to see that you haven't saw already. Um, because he did say there are five sites, and I just counted them. There is a personal site that's his that is counted as five, I think. And I'm not going over there snooping around uh, that site there. But uh, there is a grape grape line or grape vine right after mine i'll drop this uh i'll drop this water off and such and then we'll uh we'll see the last sight and maybe i'll throw the drain up, drone up in the air i'll take a breather for about a couple hours and i must have said something wrong on facebook because i'm banned for 24 hours or something i don't know what happened uh it might have been something i said but uh <laughs> But I'll see there in the next couple hours. It'll be 24 hours since I went live just 22 hours ago. So a couple hours, I should be able to go live again. I don't know if they're saying I'm going live too much or what. But uh, we'll see about that. And then I'll throw the drone up in the air once I take a little breather and relax for a bit. Here is the hill right here. From the bottom here to there is the top of that hill. I'm on the top. So, one more hill with this, uh, with this wagon. Okay, off the grape line. I did bring the, um, the wagon, uh, just in case uh, on the way back, I might want to get some, uh, broken tree limbs i mean there's a lot right here but it looks like some of that has just been cut so i probably just want to get some some other ones laying around here but he said it's about 150 feet more to this one so if you want it really secluded and you don't want people walking past your site if they ever get busy i'm not sure if they get busy but if they ever get busy this would be all the way down here where nobody should be going this direction if they didn't get the site
see the picnic table already there yeah he was just cutting those earlier but that might be the atv rocky top trail i don't know, i'm not sure but it goes around that way as well it's cleared it's cleared out a bit i'm not going to go that way though this is the uh the grape grape line um campsite get another table get another grape for the grill you got a recycle bin and a trash can so it's good you don't have to haul it out a lot of places i go you have to haul have to haul everything out even your poop yep i said it got a fire ring here and it goes down further i'm going to go figure out where that's at but uh there's little trails i think deer have been running through here so if i wake up early enough if i wake up early enough in the morning i might sit here still as i can if the wind's blowing the opposite way maybe the deer will run up on me we will see but much as i talk they probably will hear me from a mile away well you know what he did say there's five five campsites and i don't think he included his so this is another clearing so it's two campsites on this this section Uh, there's no table on this one and no trash can and such it's really really secluded it's uh but i mean there's a little trail right here but you got a nice fire ring that's all you need okay and more trails there's trails all through here i'm thinking deer on there oh goddamn rabbit Scared the shit out of me. Real life situations, folks. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. But it's not a snake, it's a rabbit. Get it right. Stupid ass sands. Everyone. <laughs> um, there's peace and quiet right now. Um, there was a car for about I'm going to say a good 30 minutes at least. I think their car was fast and furious because it doesn't have a muffler on it. And it kept on freaking going by. And I was going to put the drone up and go see who the hell was doing it. Uh, then all, all my batteries were, all three batteries of the drone was uh, dead. So they're charging up now. Sorry, folks. You'll get footage tomorrow. Don't worry about it. But that said, I'm about to cook. We got about another hour or two, but I got lights out here. I could put lights up, but I am going to be cooking some salmon uh, because I saw the creek and the creek does not look like I'm even going fishing. I'm, I'm packing my fishing pole up. I'm not paying for a three day, $17 Wisconsin license because I don't think there is fish in that creek. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to cook fish now. I'm going to I'm going to wash it on down with some tangerine peach. Uh that is very expensive, more expensive than I'm used to, I guess. Um I'm going to put a little bit of seasoned pepper on there, some Lowry's. Uh we got some like crushed pepper flakes and all kind of good stuff. Got some black peppercorn grinder with some black truffle flavored olive oil. Um and with some salmon, I want some fried rice. So we got some fried rice, mushrooms, and I'm going to add mushrooms and probably maybe a bell pepper. Uh, but we're going to have some restaurant style Raymond shoyu tonkatsu taste. Authentic Raymond soup. Okay, that's right there. I'm not sure if all the scallions and stuff in there, but I have some I can add, I guess, to make it kind of look like that. I'm not sure if an egg's going to be in there. Uh, and that's not all, folks. But wait, there's more. But wait. So I want some good other noodles. These noodles I really prefer. They're like low main noodles. But uh, what the? But what the? What is that? Is that a you? What? Adon. Adon. Stir fry noodles. We're gonna have some Adon stir fry noodles. This is only two minutes walk or skillet or nine seconds in the microwave. So we're gonna do the two minutes. This one takes about three minutes. Uh, this one's like 
a minute and a half in the microwave, so about two minutes. So we're gonna have a, a meal that shouldn't take that long, but uh, I did bring my kosher garlic dill asparagus. Uh, these are good for 10, 20 years, if you ask me. Uh, so I'm gonna eat some of those with it. Okay, let's get this stuff out and get to going. Okay, I already got the fire kind of started. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to prep all the food before I cook everything else. But this right here is going to be for you. I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and make the eggs. This is the creek water. It actually tastes pretty good and it was really cold. Uh, I'm going to heat up some water and not much, just probably up to about here. And then I'm putting two eggs in there. I'm going to boil them and hard boil them to put them in our Raymond uh, noodles. So that'll be done in about two days. Cause it's slow as shit. Okay, while the water's going, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, chop everything up and then put it in this uh, nice uh, bamboo looking bowl here. So let's, uh, let's get to chopping. I think this right here, I'll wait till last to garnish it if I remember. I just like the crowns of these. I'm not making soup. If I was making soup, I would chop the uh, stems up a little bit, uh, a little bit finer, like like this. If I was making some soup, just to get all that in there. But I'm not that greedy today, so I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm like chopping this, uh, just chopping broccoli. If you know, you know. I'm just going to chop uh, kind of in okay pieces. Nothing too small, nothing too big. It's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. in the fire like usual I have plenty of onions so I'm gonna kind of waste a little bit of it and put in the fire I just want the aroma out here while I'm and these I'm just gonna cut pretty pretty fine kind of like me not thin but just fine And I'm making two different um, Raymonds, so I'm going to have to be, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll have to put some in each. I don't know. I don't want both to taste the same. Okay. I'll put, uh, I'll put the bell pepper in the, the Raymond with these. Okay, these are already pretty much chopped up, so I'm just going to toss these in the pool. Okay, let's get the fire going for everything else.
Okay, let's burn some stuff up. This is uh, doing two at once, she said. Just some uh, organic, extra never touched olive oil. Nothing. Sometimes I'm not sure if it's just you or I mean just me, but sometimes in the back of uh, Chinese restaurants you hear this while you're eating. Dang it. Okay. Well, firewood. A little bit of a little bit of oil. Oh yeah, there we go. Get these noodles in the broccoli, the udon, udon. Not sure why the hell there's two packs. This is enough for only one person. And it says to add all this stuff, seasoning, sesame oil, and beef, and garlic, and all this crap. It's not even in the bag. So... I'm gonna have to run over there and find something, some kind of sauce. So let me get this off the heat. Okay, I found some Blue Dragon Thai. So this is kind of mixing Eastern style, but uh, Thai mango sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna uh, throw some Thai in there. Since I got some sweet stuff in there already, I'm gonna throw some sweet and heat garlic I brought. And I'm just gonna chop, I'm just gonna put them in their hole. Cause they're so delicious. Me eat one now. Mm. Oh yeah. And some juice. Wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. But wait. There's more! A little, little pepper. And I think that's about done. You gotta put the noodles in very last when they get off the heat. There you go. And then you try to get away with nature pepper. Come on, so don't want to break up. Like a bad relationship. Okay, this over here is doing really good. It's not messing with me too much. It's uh, actually calmed down a little bit and still heats up. Sauteing, so I don't caramelize everything. This needs a little more love. Okay.
There we go. These little lube. A little lube. You need to talk dirty to it. Okay. Take it off the heat and get to this one. Okay, I put the noodles in that pot in the back with the lid on to keep it warm. I'm going to put a little bit of canola oil in that pan. Get that hot. Throw the fish in there. Fish Company Cracked Pepper Salmon. Skin sat down. Okay, well that's cooking. It's time to put this um, egg hot water into here with the Raymond noodles. They said two minutes with some hot water, so I'm going to use the egg noodles. The egg should be done. Uh, we'll see if it's uh, if it's still runny. I'll just say I try to get the, the creaminess, creaminess of the yolk in there. But here's this one actually came with some seasoning. And I guess this is for two people. That's why that's why Oriental people are so small. They they have they have that. Okay. I got seasoning for this, so I don't have to worry about seasoning. I'm just gonna throw it all in the pot. Because we're doing both of them. Who cares? And here's what I do. I break it in half. There we go. So I do all with spaghetti too, so you don't have to do it all, you cut it up yourself. So there we go. Let's get down here on my level. Stick to my level, folks. Okay. Get the fish. Oh yeah, got those noodles. We're good to go. Okay, you don't want to lift that up before it's cooked or it'll fall apart on you, which it's probably going to do. Get the fat part right there done, because I think this part will lift up, but... You don't want to cook it too much. Some people like to kill it twice. Oh, kind of fell apart, but see, it's already caramelized. Now I'm putting the fat part on there. Got these noodles. Two minutes. This is supposed to cook for only two minutes. Okay, I'm going to get that off here in about another minute. Okay, this fish is going to go in here to stay warm and it's probably going to heat up a little bit in direct heat. I need to use this pot here. Time for the rice. It's supposed to be in a microwave, but no microwave. Who the hell brings a microwave camping? Probably me. I thought about it. A little more hot water. This stuff is al dente. They say don't add nothing to it. Just heat it up for a couple of minutes in the microwave, 90 seconds. This stuff needs to be cooked a little bit longer. So I'm putting a little bit more water in there. Let that cook down. Evaporate. 
This right here is almost done. There you go. You're supposed to slap it on the ceiling, but I don't have a ceiling right now. But you grab this, you slap it right there on the ceiling. And if it sticks, that means it's done. But it can stick and still be really done, like overly done. But okay, that's good. Put the lid on here. Yeah, I'm multitasking, folks. That's what I do. I turn the light on here. Um, I have an extra light shining down here. It's getting kind of dark. Got my um, eggs out of the hot water. And I might use this for some hot cocoa later, so uh, don't judge me. Leave it right down there. Okay, time for this to go off. Let the rice heat up a little bit more. Right there. Couple. Okay, let's go plate this up. Oh, baby. All right, here we go. We have a fancy feast. I uh, wasn't even feel like cooking, but I'm glad I did because this looks scrumptious. Um, I did the eggs. I've uh, I, I kept the wrappers here so I know what the hell I'm eating because I always forget. Uh, but this all looks really good, folks. I do have a spoon and a fork here. Uh, it's probably a slap in the face, people say, uh, to. Uh, to eat with your hat on, but to uh, eat Asian food with a fork. They invented forks. They're faster than chopsticks, okay, folks? So if you still lose chopsticks, that's okay. You probably use a rotary phone and a pay phone too. So let's, uh, let's, let's not get into all that. Let's try this out here. Oh my goodness. I didn't add anything like salt and pepper or anything to this. I actually just added the seasoning that's in this pack. And I did do the onions, the scallions, and the, uh, the yellow peppers. But this is a shoyu tonkatsu taste. Authentic ramen. So if you want to see that. Okay. But that is good. Let me take another bite of this and get me a get me an egg with it too. I highly recommend this. I highly recommend. I got this at Walmart. No, oh, I'm lying. I went to some store in Wisconsin. I'm not even sure the name of the store. Wow, I'm 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 slow. One more bite. One more bite. That's how good it is. One more bite. Rewind this, check this out, and see where the hell you can get it by you. Really good. Okay, I have some black truffle oil. You don't, you don't, you just want to drizzle it. Put your, put your finger, your dirty ass finger on here, and then kind of, yeah, there. That's all you need. Little, little is a lot. This is just a garnish to piss you off. So. Uh, but what is faster than a fork? Yes, two forks. So if you want to chop, chop stick it up with two forks, go ahead and do that. This is the udon, stir fry noodles. Before I get to tasting it all the way, I can't really give you an assessment of how this tastes because it's just noodles. They tell you go buy this go buy this add this they don't put it in the pack so shame on you udon noodles kami kami well that's crap uh the, the noodles the noodles are good 
but make sure to buy whatever season you want to put in there. I don't even know if I got a garlic, but I did put my sweet and heat garlics in there. I do have this on my website. I have sweet and heat garlic and I have kosher dill garlic. Oh yeah, here they go. I them whole. Very delicious, folks. And I'm not just saying that. For people that actually bought these and got them shipped to you and you taste them, please comment and let them know their deal. Okay? And try the rice. The rice is actually not a lot of flavor. But I wanted to say it's actually cooked since I did put water in it and cook and steam it off. It's actually not al dente like it usually is when I have it. So, that's a perk to have cooked rice, but not a lot of seasoning. I think it's not a lot of seasoning because I just had this. Uh, but that is the <coughs> Kami. They're, they're short on seasoning, folks. The same company, Kami. So, Kami needs to add some freaking... ingredients okay got my cup we'll drink some of my langers tangerine peach never had the langers but can't go wrong with peach in it really good yes get another cup of that I'm gonna try the fish out I'm not gonna I'm not going to skimp on you. I'm going to try it before I get off of here. I didn't add anything to this. To me, it's hickory. There's not too much smoked. It's not over hickory smoked. They're actually good. And... The texture to me, you're not going to believe what I'm about to say. It's not surf and turf, but it actually, it's like bone-in ribs when you're eating the ribs off the bone. What? I like the texture to me, but it tastes good. It tastes some of that caramelized skin down here. Let's just taste it all. Mmm. Okay, guys. Well, what I'm going to do tonight. There may not be any leftovers tonight. I don't know. But, uh, I did say it earlier. I'm going to test out the tent since it's like going to be 48 or 49 degrees tonight, which I'm not going to need a heater at all. I got that nice, comfy two person sleeping bag. Uh, if if you do sleep in a sleeping bag with somebody, you have to be very trustworthy with them people or figure out what you're eating before you go camping, you know. Um, but it is very comfortable. Uh, that's the first time I slept in it. Notorious B.O.B., B.O.B., uh, he slept in it uh, when he went camping with me. I let him have that one and I had my own. It was separate, folks. But uh, that is a very comfortable um, sleeping bag. The one person I could barely get into, it's like skin tight leather chaps or something. I've never worn leather, leather chaps, but if I would, that's I think that's what it would be. Uh, I keep trying to shove food in my mouth and I'm trying to talk. But I am going to, since that's a hammock uh, tent, and I can use that in the future for just the hammock, but it has a zipper, three zippers, one to go all the way down, and then the top I can I can adjust where I want the hammock to go out of. But that's where I want the smoke to go out of. So I'm going to try to put the fire in there tonight just one time to see if the smoke goes out. Because that carbon dioxide tester actually went off about 30 minutes after I went to sleep. 
the fire was almost out. You thought the fire was out, but the thing, it, it kept climbing the carbon monoxide. So I did go outside. I opened the tent for about 10 minutes, uh, let the, the, the numbers go down. Went down to like 24, and I was comfortable with that going down because it goes down to zero after that. But it was all the way up to like 50 or 60 or something. Whatever, I don't even know what the percentage, I don't know if it's percentage or if it's per, parts per million. I'm not even sure what the numbers are, but I know it, it, it went off and it worked. So uh, if you're going to do a hot tent or something like that, people, I do recommend you get the carbon monoxide detector. Uh, if you didn't know, my daughter passed away three years ago on March the 6th. Uh, so if you're seeing this and this might come out around March the 6th, uh, she did pass away three years ago because she fell asleep in her vehicle and her uh, exhaust manifold was leaking. So uh, if you know anybody that has an exhaust manifold leak, you might want to tell them to get it fixed. Probably cost her four to $500 to fix it and it would have saved your life. So if you know anybody that has one in your family and you want to give them something, um, a, a gift, they might want like a new phone I think they will not appreciate the exhaust manifold, but if they knew, they if if you know, you know. So um, it's probably well worth it to get an exhaust manifold rather than a new iPhone 38. So okay, well I'm gonna shut this down and maybe talk to you one more time when I get it in the tent. But I'm gonna relax, enjoy the. Enjoy the nice weather. It's supposed to get uh, kind of rain tomorrow night, about midnight. So I did put a tarp over there to put other stuff under, just in case it rains. Uh, the solar panel is working really good. Uh, I put the solar panel over there by that tarp now. So the sun's coming up over there. That's going to uh, reflect on there. So at 100%, maybe 90, 90 now because the sun went down. But that thing is charging everything up. Um, I, that's the Vitamon, V-T-O-M-A-N. I do have, have a review on that. I'm actually using that right now. I have one in the tent called uh, Blue Eddy. Uh, I will talk to you probably tomorrow about the Blue Eddy. And uh, that one's been going on in the tent uh, with the little LED light that I have there. It's not taking juice at all, but I just uh, have the light on in there. And I have a spotlight outside just in case I, I hear something. I have a light set up so I can just plug it in and it can light the whole place up. So then I can light the place up with my lead slinger. Okay, well, I'm going to get off here and eat. See you in a bit. Okay, I have this uh, zipped all the way down and the top. Uh, usually you only unzip about this much, but there's a zipper here and a zipper here, but I have a forked branch in there to keep that open on each side. It's like that all the way on the other side too, uh, but there's still a little smoke in there, but that uh, carbon monoxide tester did not go off yet. Uh, I'm just going to see if uh, for another hour I'm going to sit out here and enjoy the stars, but... Uh, working out okay I really don't like I said I really don't need the heat uh, tonight let me turn this light on for you guys I do have an LED light out here uh, but I, um, I'm gonna sit out here just for a little bit longer and call it a night I got my I got two uh, undershirts on uh, so long johns what do you want to call these things long jimmies and I got two up under here with my sleeping clothes. But I got a jacket I'll put on and my Elmer Fudd hat, get into that <laughs> snug two person uh, sleeping bag and I'll be good to go. I might not even zip it up tonight cause it's gonna be like 47, 48, 49 degrees tonight. But tomorrow is a different story. It's gonna be really freaking cold. I might bust my heated jacket. Uh, I'm not sure, but this is surviving folks. Yeah. Real surviving. Not really. But if I survive, that means I'm surviving. Uh, again, this is the suckiest survival season that I think I've ever done. I'm going to admit that right now. I was looking for a lot of snow. Uh, it just didn't happen. Uh, but if I can get snow before the uh, end of the season of the snow, 
I mean, it's only the end of February right now. It might snow in April. Who knows? But I will call it a survival season 6.5. Because I think I still owe you guys some kind of snow uh, season. And we'll, we'll do that. It's supposed to sleep, rain and sleep Wednesday, like morning, like 1 a.m., which is going to suck. But I'll wake up to a lot of ice everywhere. So I'm going to try to cover everything that I can. But other than that, guys, I just wanted to wanted to fill you in on what's going on, and that's about all. Um, food was good. Um, I might try some hot cocoa later, or I might wait till tomorrow for hot cocoa. Uh, or Wednesday. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Tuesday, so Wednesday is when the bottom's going to drop out. So I might do hot cocoa that day and maybe a beef stew that day. So maybe pork steaks tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. All right. Good night, folks. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up um, and just uh, try to relax. So thank you very much, everyone that did donate. I will roll the beautiful bean footage right now. If you don't know what that is, I think that's bush bush beans with that dog. What happened to that dog? Hopefully nothing happened because I don't I don't see them videos anymore. I don't watch TV, I guess. But okay well you see the names going by i want to thank you guys again and over and out see you